Володя. Ай. Let's 
Surprisingly, there are five dentists in our family. Nicholas Selepsky with the red tie and his wife and the others practice dentistry about 50 miles from Chernobyl.
This is what was formerly a wooden monastery uh, built uh, about uh, the 12th century and since uh, 19, maybe 85, 20 years it has been re renovated so that it appears as you see it right now. This is the area called Sarvanicha and on this weekend coming more than 30,000 pilgrims will be here praying and having confession and uh, celebrating the uh, liturgy of St. John Chrysostom. Uh, this is quite an interesting location in a wooded area with uh, tall trees and uh, hills and we had just completed the Stations of the Cross. It is raining quite hard all day and for two days prior. So if this picture looks a bit obscured, <laughs> realize that it is uh, the weather. On the way to Borshtu, we passed hundreds of people walking alongside the roads in a heavy rain. We finally stopped to ask this group where was everyone going? Sarvanitsa, they said. These programs had been walking for 50 to 75 miles. Along the way, they were put up by townspeople and churches who provided them with food and shelter for the night. Okay. Oh. Right. Yes. <laughs> this is the grave of Ivan Sawicki, father of our driver Igor and husband of Anna, who is accompanying us on this trip to Hurmakivka. This is Alex Prodan, who is the husband of Eugenia. Eugenia is the daughter of Anton and grandfather of Natalia. This is Vadim Bahenko, Natalia's cousin. He is the son of Ludmila, who now lives in Chicago. Ludmila is Natalia's aunt and is the daughter of Eugenia. This is the gravesite of Eugenia, Natalia's grandmother, daughter of Anton, and Janet's former pen pal prior to World War II. Here we are standing outside the sign announcing the town of Borshchu. Borshchu is famous for its sugar beet and is the fruit center in Ukraine. Or your brother. Some surrounding uh, fields. This town is known for its sugar beet production. And you can notice the foothills here of a sign for Herma Kivka. land looks very pretty, well maintained, nice and hilly. Take a look here. Sugar beet capital of Ukraine. 
to this uh, monument to celebrate is celebrate Ukraine's independence. Oh, great. Celebrating Ukraine independence. This monument was erected as tribute to the people and the new nation of Ukraine. And the Christians. And that was established in 1990. Country, you just have to go where you have to go. This is typical of some of the rural outhouses. This one was just behind the only Ukrainian Catholic church in her Makivka. You can hear from the background singing. It's typical of the homes and the setting of this town, Hermarkipa. Actually, it's a very nice town considering where we are right now in terms of Laskiuchi, which apparently doesn't have quite the uh, industry or productivity as this area does. Now, we have found a woman here who knows of a Joseph Pudak. We just went to the church. We we're fortunate enough the church was... Uh, in during mass and we found several ladies who knew of many Pulaks. Apparently there's uh, perhaps even a hundred. Maybe they're indirectly related of course to my father but it's hard to know. So this lady has been to the United States six times and she apparently knows of a Joseph Pulak. Then she went to the city administration and asked some people to let her brother come to the village at least to see the grave yeah. of their mother. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Buy some food. Well, here's a different mode of transportation in Hermakivka, a motorcycle and a passenger. Now, we have just found some additional information from these two ladies here. This was at one time the Ukrainian Catholic Church that Father would have been attending from the year 988. However, after the war, the communists donated or gave this church to the Russian Orthodox Patriarch. It's a beautiful church. The grounds are with these beautiful grape vines and a very outstanding cherry tree. We've had several cherries, very ripe and very delicious. So we're going to perform a ceremony either here or at the cemetery in just a few minutes. We've actually walked about five miles through this town looking for a cemetery 
and we were led here by a 67 year old lady who I had a hard time keeping up with. She is in good health and tremendous spirit. She was telling us of all the battles over the centuries that have occurred here. You're seeing some of the uh, farmland in Norman Kifka that uh, served as some of the great battles of World War II uh, between Nazi Germany and Communist Russia or the USSR. If we're going to be real technical with it, you'll notice how much of the land is used for farming. We have now returned to Trembolia and we're having dinner at Anatoly's home. He is the son of Eugenia and also is Natalia's uncle. Yes, okay. Oh, 
has been arrested. Oh, yes, he's a criminal. Okay, he's arrested. That's a beautiful. Ходить та й ходить, курять та й ходить, ой, 
Заслужив я пана, та й на третій рід. Заслужив я пана, гусочку за рід. А та гуся, суся, суся, а та каче, дрібно скаче, а та курачка батура по садочку ходить та ходить. Куча та що ходить та й ходить. А служив я пана на четверте літро. Заслужив я пана і не казарі. А та інде, бенде, бенде, а та гуся, суся, суся, а та каче, дрібно скаче, а та курачку батура по садочку ходить та й ходить. Музика Світанковій краю Тай навчила Веснянки співати Про квітучу Надію свою Як на ті Чорнобривці Погляди Бачу матір Старей Бачу руки Твої моя мама Твою ласку я чую, рідненька, Я на ті чорнобривці погляну, Бачу матір стареньку, Бачу руки твої, моя мамо, Твою ласку я чую, рідненька. Це завжди з контракту. Окей. Хто за ним? Do you sing? Spivak? Spivno? Ona hraje. Hraje, okay. She plays. She plays. She plays on his nerves. Oh, I was say. Play piano? No, play on her nerves. <laughs> Prior to returning to Lviv, we had lunch at Igor Sawicki's home with his wife Nadia and daughters Ulyana and Valya. Igor it was our driver and is the grandson of Anton, and his father was Ivan Sawicki. While at the home, we watched their wedding pictures on television. And we also visited Igor's stores. We're standing outside one of his many hardware stores. Inside is a vast array of plumbing, kitchen fixtures, tile, and lighting supplies. On our trip to Livu, we were joined by Natalia's brothers, Oleg, whom we visited at his lumber yard, and his younger brother, Alexei, age 19. He is a college student studying environmental, environmental engineering, and he lives with Natalia's family in Kiev. We passed many shrines and fields of sugar beet on the way. We were invited to have dinner at the Bukovina Club in Kiev while visiting Andre and Bohdan Gurbik. They are grandsons of Maria Sawicki, who died in Siberia. Andre is a professor of medieval Ukrainian history at the university, and Bohdan is a former soldier in the Soviet Army. 
Pictured here is their family, including wives, and Andre's twin daughters, Lisha and Yaroslava, who are both accomplished dancers, and they are with their grandmother, Slauka.